Hello, welcome to sensory play day number 23. Um, we're going to play with spaghetti and colored spaghetti. You do have the, oh, sorry, don't mind me. You do have the option to do one color. I'm actually going to go try three colors. So I'm going to go get out three pots, boil the water, do up the spaghetti. I'll be back. I'll chuck some photos in as well. And then I'll show you this activity afterwards. I will be back in a sec. I have got my pot of water boiling. I've added salt um, just to make it boil faster. I'm going to pour blue in here. No idea how much, haven't done this before. That should do it. I'm going to go green in this one. Um, and in this one, I'm going to go red. I haven't even checked to see if I've got pasta. I know I've got one type. I'm hoping I've got three different types. Um, so that I can do three different colors, three different types of pasta. We'll see. I'll be back soon. I'll wait till these boil, then I'll add in uh, the pasta. I did. I was prepared. I just forgot I was prepared. I've got bows, macaroni, the spirals, and linguine down there. So I will, I don't know, do a bit of mix and matching. Haven't decided what I'm going to do with this in the end, but it'll be colored and pretty. See you soon. All right, this is the blue one boiling. I'm going to add the linguine because I might make waves with it later. Um, and spirals, I suppose. Sorry, I should have had that open to start with. I need to mix that too. Yeah! All right, spirals are going in. And then I'll do red, the red one with macaroni and green both. Pasta's all done now, cooked. Not sure I could eat it this colour. But we've got three colours and the three different types of pasta. Sorry, not sure what happened. The video just cut out. Um, I don't know whether you heard me or not say that we actually do cover these in a few days, but I thought I'd show you this while I'm at it. So I would add in my sea creatures here. And you can see you've got the play tray. All right, I'm gonna move this one because I want to get on with the pasta. All right, that's behind me. Because when the pasta's cooked, yeah, get out of the way. I need some more space. Um, the starch in the pasta will act like glue. So while it is still soggy, I suppose, you can stick it to the paper and then leave it to dry. I hopefully haven't left this too long. I did leave it to cool. Right, I'm not making a picture at the moment, but this will still be a sensory um, thing for when it's dry later because you'll be able to feel the different textures. My plan was to make a picture. I'll do that on the next one. You can already feel these starting to get sticky. I hope the bows stick. And then once it dries, you can actually keep it. It is a food product, yes, but once dried, maybe I should flip that over. The moisture comes out and it tends to keep. There you go. So this is just a bits and pieces one. I'll try making a picture. Um, you can practice writing your name as well, particularly when you've got spaghetti. I realized I called it a spaghetti activity and I didn't even use spaghetti. This is linguine, but you know, you get my point. So I'm going to make a tut for Tash, just using my fingernail to cut it. That can be the little bit for the app. Oh, let's use these. One, two, Three, discuss the colors and count where you can. So we used five down that side and I'll use another five this side. One, two, ah, three, four, five. Uh, bow's not really gonna work for this, so we'll use another bit of this spaghetti to make us, oh. Oh, uh, maybe I could pull apart if I use scissors. There you go. So fine motor skills and bilateral coordination again. To do the hurt. There we go. And one more. Yep. It's a tiny bit raw in the middle, but I don't plan on eating it, so we're all good. And then a spiral for the middle hurt. And then for this one as well, once it's dry, your little one can actually practice the correct letter um, 
formations with their fingers and actually have the texture there as well. Yes? So that's my name. Um, you could do a picture. You get my point, yes? You don't need to see me do a picture. We've got two different ones there. I will show you a photo of these once they're dry. The paper will shrivel a little bit just because it shrinks and pulls it together. But other than that, um, they're good to keep. You don't need to use any more glue. It just sticks. All right, it's also sticking to my fingers. Um, I wanted to, so we don't want to waste all these. We will. I've just gone and filled my tray up with sand. Need to fix that. Back in a sec. All right, I'm back with a relatively clean tray. I'm going to chuck my pasta in here. I don't want to mix it up yet. Because I've left it in here for a little while, it kind of has set, but ew. I can't say this is my favorite sensory activity, but someone's bound to like it. The colors are pretty. Um, I did from the photos, oh, I think I did a video, I added a bit more food coloring towards the end there because I wanted them a bit brighter. All right, there you go. So I would give this to your little ones with something as simple as a pair of scissors. Use paper scissors if your little one is younger and you don't want to give them metal or you're worried about them, I don't know, taking out their siblings eyeballs. Um, your paper ones will be fine. So just a cutting activity. There's a ton of different things you can do. You can give them different Play-Doh things um, to play with. You could stamp cookie cutters in here. Ooh. Oh, I don't have any with insight. So we'll just stick to scissors at the moment, but you can cut the pasta. That's somewhat satisfying. There you go. And again, fine motor skill activity. Yeah. You can mix it all up, um, cut it up more to make different pictures. It'd be interesting to see what your little one does with it um, and how long they play for too. I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully that's given you enough ideas. You can download Sensory Play number 23, which is stuck under here today. And then the um, Under the Sea mat and Play Tray stuff is included there on the product. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.